Well, it was quite, um, quite straightforward, really, in that uh, my sister was getting married and she sent me the challenge of doing a date to the wedding and I was fairly bullish about my prospects at the time. Yeah. But with three weeks to go, all my prospects had fallen by the wayside and I'd sort of forgotten about it. And then um, I was speaking to a friend, she asked me what I was doing that summer, sort of around early July. And I said, oh, the main thing was my sister's wedding, I guess, that was sort of the main event in my mind. I told her about um, what was soon to be called the Great Wedding Date Challenge. And um, she said, oh, I know someone who might be up for that. And so she set me up with Lucy and we went on a sort of semi-blind, partially sighted date. Um, we'd, seen, we'd seen a photograph of each other, which I think was resolution. about a centimetre, yeah, like a centimetre square. Um, and <laughs> and um, uh, I thought, what, 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 what is the best, what is the most appropriate way of spending this really important and potentially magical first day? I thought, hang on, isn't the last Wednesday of every month for Kyoki night at People Speak? Um, I thought this sort of, this this is this will show my sort of if I was to include this as the centerpiece of the initial date experience, this would show my sort of man of the world, interesting sort of involved in like edgy stuff, but like yeah, sort of taking her to like a new experience. Um, I just thought it would really sort of um, show me in my best light, really. And so that's what we did. We met at Liverpool Street Station. She was late. Uh, I wasn't. I'm, I've got over it now. And um, uh, we walked up the road <laughs> to People Speak and did Tokyoki. How was it for you? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of expand on that a bit, shall I? So, um, it got kind of, uh, kind of sat down. I hadn't told him at this point that I get a little bit embarrassed about speaking in public in those kind of situations. She was aware of what the situation was. <laughs> so we kind of sat down around the table and um, it was nice because it was just like you were kind of setting up and it was quite kind of informal. Oh, yeah, we were the first there and so yeah. like, we just chatting with Mikey. And that was, but then um, we were kind of sitting down and it just got a bit embarrassing. Oh, then two people we knew came in. But we and both knew separately. Table. So that was quite interesting. Yeah, kind of just a little bit of, yeah, just a bit embarrassing. And then the conversation just turned to bestiality. <laughs> <laughs> just a sort of like, the, the, random, the random walk of conversation around a donut of chat. Yeah. Um, and suddenly I was in the situation where, hang on, is this the conversation I want to be having? <laughs> and then I would think we went and had some dinner. Yeah, we did. It took a while. Yeah, and it took, I remember they took the dinner, like, they literally took like an hour for the food to get to us, despite the no one else being there. No. No, there being some other people that we some of my old friends as well. Oh, yeah, then we met someone yeah. else we knew, yeah. Yeah. That was, that was date one. And how, what's happened since then? Um, now we're getting a puppy. Yep, a barbe. We've been buying a house together and getting a puppy. So all down to Torkioki <laughs> and the donut of chat. So um, we're going to yeah. consider calling the puppy after either the table or Mikey. That's a good idea. Mikey we hadn't considered that, but that is a really good idea. Dog Doggyoki. <laughs> Yeah, I like right, donut. Right. The much. marrow bone of chat. <laughs> <laughs> this was amazing. I cried. <laughs>